everyone, Monomorphic here again. Uh, problem solved as far as the anomalous linear momentum in these uh, simulated uh, frustums and cavities in Gary's mod and, and especially in Autodesk Maya here. Uh, I'll walk you through uh, exactly what was going on, <clears throat> at least in uh, Maya. In uh, about when they came out with the Nucleus Solver in 2009, they combined the active rigid body uh, simulators with the cloth simulators. And so in order to uh, get the, the full rigid body simulator, you have to take this slider here and move it all the way over to the right. Now, what you also have to, to make sure that you do, and what I've traced the anomalous uh, the uh, linear momentum to are, is the stretch resistance and the uh, compression resistance. If these two variables are not zero, then I get the, uh, the upward uh, momentum. And so what that means is that why we were getting that, that uh, the, the up movement is because uh, it, there's a little bit of cloth simulating going on here as far as uh, stretch resistance and compression resistance. And since the rigidity is pushed all the way up, that was sort of transferred, uh, I guess, into a, uh, an impulse or a, uh, a bump that, that uh, forced the whole thing up. And then I'm going to show you uh, uh, both right now. So if everything's zeroed out, you can see here, and we're running a full rigid body simulation, we'll just, run, we'll just play it. You know, and again, uh, you know, with the the uh, control uh, cavities, uh, we're going to move a little bit off center, but that's only because of the uh, the uh, first couple of particles. They impart a lot of momentum to the uh, cavity and start it moving, and uh, and then it and, and then it just continues on. So here we are, 500 in, uh, 600 in. We've we've not really moved up or or down. We'll stop that, rewind, take this stretch resistance up to just uh, one. Now let's play it. <clears throat> and here we go. Starting to move up. So, and this, this can actually just be a very, very, very small uh, number, and we get this uh, movement. So there it is. Uh, you know, as far as Gary's mod, you know, my my assumption there is that when he created the 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 walls and the tapered cavity, he probably used a the geometry of a of, of a bouncing ball or or something like that that also has a, a dynamic property applied to it. That's probably may even use the same uh, algorithm algorithms that Maya is using. And we get the uh, the upward uh, movement. So uh, again, it's not a uh, a rounding error or any other type of approximation error. It's just the fact that these simulations were not perfect rigid bodies. Um, and uh, oh, and I just wanted to leave everyone with a pretty cool animation. Here you go. I can if I could take the rigid body off and play it. You get this pretty cool. And that's with all of the dynamic properties set to zero. Um, uh, there's no resistance to compression or stretch or anything like that, so all of the little bouncing particles uh, sort of cause the whole thing to explode. All right, guys, uh, problem solved. There we are. Thanks.